the fruit of Jannah, when you eat it, when you bite in it, every bite will... When we think about Allah, we should just say Allahu Akbar. He used to love harming. It wasn't just like a, a job for him. And he used to ask the Prophet Sallallahu if he can do this, continue this in paradise. You won't play the video game. You'll be in the yeah. video game. Some of the atheists or something, some of them say, well, because paradise is eternal, it may get boring over time and people will lose purpose. And if anyone asks themselves something like that, I always say like, if if you believe in like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as being almighty, then can he keep the paradise interesting for us for eternity? Because there's nothing like holding back his power. We have even narrations that the paradise, it will be so beautiful. We can't even imagine how the Prophet said that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I have prepared for my servants that what no eyes has seen and no ears have heard and no heart of a human being can imagine. But sometimes Allah gives us like examples to get like a little taste of what's expecting us. And one of the hadiths is very interesting in this context. It says like the fruit of Jannah, when you eat it, when you bite in it, every bite will taste better than, than the bite before it. So imagine like you will get never bored of eating the fruits of Jannah to eternity because Allah promised you that every time you're going to like bite in the fruit, it's not going to only taste different than before, it's even going to taste bitter. So from that sense, I think the problem that Jannah may get not interesting or get bored or purposeless, I see like as it's no point at all because Allah SWT has the power to keep it amazing for us and from his mercy, he does it. I mean, even if he just would give us a Jannah where everything is the same, for eternity, it would be a great mercy rather than just ceasing to exist and having no purpose from all life. When we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, many times we try to conceptualize what Allah could be. But when we just think about Allah's creation, we think we look at the universe. Just think about the fact that when they pointed the Hubble telescope to a width of a pencil, so a pencil or a pen, just this small diameter, they pointed it in the sky for I think a week and they counted I don't know how many galaxies and then from that they calculated that there were more stars in the universe than grains of sand on every beach on earth. Yeah. Then they got the Hubble telescope to point for a month in a dark sky and they said the estimate could be actually a hundred times bigger. Now we have the James Webb telescope. And who knows, maybe they'll revise it to a thousand times bigger or 10,000 times bigger or a hundred thousand times bigger. Now just imagine that every beach on earth, every grain of sand, and there are more than possibly a hundred or a thousand times those beaches of, of, of numbers of stars in the universe. Now think about potentially how many other universes there could be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So our imagination of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we think about Allah, we should just say Allahu Akbar. Allahu it's Akbar. Beyond, it's beyond our capacity to yeah. even think about the power of Allah, the majesty of Allah, the strength of Allah, the knowledge of Allah. It's beyond anything we can imagine. And if we were to sit there thinking about it, we'd go crazy. Our brain would not be able to take it. So for Allah to make Jannah eternal and make it interesting, <laughs> What are we talking about here? Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from, yeah. yeah. One quick question, do we sleep in Jannah or don't? I just remember something about like, you won't get tired or exhausted. And from what I understand, it's the point is that you like sleep and I don't think anything would prevent you because Allah SWT says they will have what they desire and we have even more. Like there's things we don't even know they exist, so we can't desire them. So Allah says, you get what you desire and you will get more things like you haven't even thought of. There is this in the time of the Prophet where uh, he was a farmer and he used to love farming. It wasn't just like a, a job for him. And he used to ask the Prophet ﷺ if he can do this, continue this in paradise. And the Prophet ﷺ said yes. So today, maybe people will think about other stuff. They think about gaming or stuff. <laughs> I hear this so often. <laughs> I would like to play this video game in, in general. <laughs> Jannah, like make it amazing or relive in a history like like it's, it's a history fun. movie it's or something it's yeah. you won't you won't play the video game you'll be in the yeah. video game <laughs> so, uh, nice 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 brothers may Allah make us all yes. inhabitants of Jannah